Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at another torchbearer hot sauce called Honey Badger. And uh, yeah. And just like all torchbearers, the, the art in front is, the label is just so fun. Yeah, the label is <laughs> absurd. I love it. It's so great. Torchbearer, I swear, torchbearer sauces, they make the best labels. They do. So this is a, a honey badger, honey mustard hot sauce. So we're going to try this. But we can tell you that this is kind of a play on spicy uh, honey mustard sauce. And uh, it is pretty spicy. Just doing a little bit. Do you want more than that? Yeah. Put too much for you? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is spicy. It is spicy. We already mm, know that. It smells so good though. Yeah. Definitely very mustardy. Yeah, thick mustard aroma. I'm obviously sweet with honey, but like... Oh, they also have Carolina Reaper pepper. It's it's not the main ingredient, but it is there. So, okay. Cheers. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> For heat. This is like just barely outside my comfort zone, which is why I give it a seven. Your face is starting to turn red. Yeah. <laughs> it's those damn scorpion peppers. You gonna give us a seven, you said? I'm giving it a seven. Yeah. It's it's a good strong heat that's just barely over over medium, but it's not like it's not extreme. But it is good and spicy. I'd have to agree with a seven, maybe seven and a half. Yeah. yeah. It's really good, like once you have like your first little bit, but if you have more than that, then it kind of builds heat. Yeah, it does. And the thing too with a lot of these sauces is the heat doesn't come immediately. It's not completely instant, even though scorpion peppers, in my experience, tend to have like a quick little sting that's immediate. This hits you with the big, powerful, sweet flavors of honey mustard first, and then after a moment, then the scorpion peppers come into play. But what I love about the combination is just how well the peppers and the honey mustard balance each other out. For quality and taste, I have no issues giving this a five. Mm. I think it just tastes amazing. And I'm not even a big like honey mustard like fan. I'm not like crazy about honey mustard, but the combination of the peppers, the black pepper in this, and the honey mustard and everything going on here is like perfect for chicken. To me, it's like the perfect chicken sauce. It is. It does really go, go really well with beans. Um, I would have to say I'm gonna give it more of like a four and a half. We don't I do halves, do. you'll have to just go with either. <sighs> it's okay. You can just go for it. <clears throat> if you think if you don't think it's perfect, I you don't can't think go it's four. perfect. Hmm. But I really like it. I think I personally I love honey mustard mm -hmm. and I wish that there was more of that in the flavor. Mm. I feel like it gets overpowered a little bit too much by the peppers. Like once the peppers kick in. Yeah, I don't really taste the honey. I ha taste the honey mustard at first and then that's <clears throat> kind of it. So that's why I would give it a four. Yeah. It is really good. It's really yummy on chicken wings. I yeah. just had them just the other day when we had chicken wings. I had two of them. Yeah. And it was so yummy. Yeah. It's a nice spicy heat that if you were to have several wings of this in a row, it, it would start to really burn. But. For texture, um, this is pretty natural. The same as the other Torchbearer sauce, Garlic Reaper. Um, almost kind of creamy. Yeah. Yeah. Almost kind of creamy, but I don't want to say like too creamy because it's still a little chunky, a little bit. Uh, which is why I wouldn't say it's like got a creamy texture. I think it's just got a normal kind of natural standard texture that you find in more natural hot sauces. 
for versatility. We mentioned that this is great with wings and chicken. Um, I must reiterate that like chicken, chicken tenders, chicken nuggets, chicken sandwiches, even like a chicken salad. I don't know. Some people would be like, that's weird, but I think it could be good. Anything with chicken, like this is the sauce to me of like chicken. Mm -hmm. It's just spicy, so. Um, but other than that though, I don't know if there's any other great things that I would like to use it for, so maybe it's not the most versatile of all sauces. But since chicken is a common protein in tons of meals, it kind of is a little versatile, right? Mm -hmm. I think you could do it in some pastas. Oh yeah. I think yeah. pastas could be pretty good. Um, I could see it being good in like macaroni and cheese too, hmm. but more like more like the homemade macaroni and cheese, and not like the craft mac and cheese. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be interesting. <clears throat> For health, these are your list of ingredients. You got apple cider vinegar, scorpion pepper, honey, distilled white vinegar, water, canola oil, brown sugar, mustard powder, Carolina Reaper pepper, white sugar, cayenne pepper powder, black pepper, turmeric mustard seed, granulated garlic, salt, and garlic. Uh, this is a natural sauce um, and it is gluten-free as well. So uh, this is also a great, wonderful, natural sauce that's not going to hurt you or um, you know, mess with your digestive system too much. It's going to be pretty good. I mean, it will be spicy for your tongue and your throat. And if you have them in large quantities, maybe more than just your mouth and throat will hurt, but... We've never had problems with it. We've never had problems. We've had problems with other sauces, but never this. And this is our second bottle, by the way. We already went through a whole bottle a while ago. We restocked, and we've never had any kind of uh, health issues from the sauce. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment below what you think about the sauce and what you use it for. And also, if you've had other torchbearer sauces, let us know what you think about those. We really want to try more sauces from this sauce maker, so let us know what you recommend. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more reviews and content all about food and hot sauces. And we will see you in the next one.